here's another little tip for using the bevel modifier in Blender. So let's say that you have a piece of geometry and um, I'm just going to extrude this edge, narrow it down and extrude again along the x-axis. And then I'm going to add a solidify modifier like this. I'm just going to apply the modifier. You can do that also through speed flow by pressing A. There we go. And then I'm just going to decrease the height of this polygon and maybe even also make this a little bit more narrow. Oh, let's do it like this on the Y axis. There we go, maybe extend it a bit. All right, so now we let's say that we want to bevel um, this piece of geometry, but maybe we want to um, have like you know, bevel like this. Let me just uh, add a bevel modifier, weight, and maybe we want it to have we want to give it like a thick bevel. Um, like that and then we want to subdivide it as well after that so the problem is if you're gonna subdivide it is that you're gonna you know it's just gonna smooth everything and because it's not not uh, the bevel is not tight enough but if we mark all the edges that we want that very thick bevel on we're just gonna mark it like this maybe these as well Like that so now it looks all messed up um, so there's a few things going on here I'm just gonna open it in the modifier here let me expand this a little bit so the first thing is that you might want to turn on clamp overlap and that means that if I have it turned off it's just going to bevel without taking into account the um, the limitations of the, the the polygons that are uh, or the faces that are next to the edge so you want to clamp the overlap and then um, we want to so the problem we have now is that we have our bevel here but the moment it gets to a narrower area it just loses the bevel completely um, or it hits the the sides of the faces so if we and the other problem is that we cannot increase the the bevel width beyond what it allows on the smallest area so let me just reduce this a bunch and then if you change the width method you can go for example to percentage and that's going to basically say get put it at, at a percentage of the the faces next to it um, so what that means is that I just have to grease it a bunch that's a bit too much but you'll see that now I have I, I get my bevel based on um, how much space is on either side of the edge and it's a percentage of that so now I can have really thick bevels um, and have it like kind of consistently um, across the, the geometry uh, you might want to mess around with different the different types. Um, let me just reduce this. So this doesn't really do the job for us. And then width also doesn't do the job for us. And offset is the default. So I think per percent is kind of the best thing you can have here. Um, you might have to, because obviously now we have this really wide bevel here and we might want to have it just more down so in this case you might uh, want to just add an edge here and ideally you would have the same these polygons would be the same width basically so uh, if we I'm just gonna add two edges like that and then maybe we can scale this 
on the y-axis a bit like that there we go and now in the bevel modifier see that looks a lot better already um, so then what we can do is um, add a second bevel modifier we're just going to add it manually like this and i'm also going to have it on weight on, on edge weight i'm just going to reduce it all the way and this one you can keep on offset so what I'm doing here now is I'm basically reusing the, 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 the edges that are marked with bevel weight. And so the cool thing now is that we, we, we can, it's, it's added onto the, it's, it's basically saying that originally our mesh has one edge and that one edge gets beveled. And then both of those new edges each also get the, the same bevel weight so you can then reuse bevel weight and add a, add a second bevel to this so now if i uh, subdivide it you see um, we get a, a nice kind of sharp bevel edge i'm just gonna delete these faces and delete these as well for now and then we can adjust our original bevel like that uh, so this is pretty cool i think so using the percentage and then adding a second uh, bevel modifier using the same um, edge weight so one one other thing you could do is uh, to make it a little bit more um, kind of to add a little bit more non-destructivity to it is you could keep the solidify modifier so i'm just going to delete all of these edges or these faces i'm going to delete the subsurface as well for now so let's say that you start from this and i'm going to hide these two and then you add your solidify like that and then as I showed previously, what you can do is we can um, have these faces have a vertex group of one, there we go. And then in the solidify modifier, we can reduce the, um, we can set it to use vertex group like that and then increase the factor so that we still have some thickness on that one there we go and maybe we change the offset as well so that it's 0.5 all right so now we have this mesh and even though even though um, we only have these lower edges marked as bevel weight when you use the solidify modifier and I just have to put it to the top it's going to do the same thing that we did with the with the bevel it's also going to apply the same um, the same uh, bevel weight to the newly created edges so we might want to turn off fill rim or only rim no okay so that's not going to be possible here um, but what we could do is we could add also bevel weight to these there we go and now if i turn on the the first bevel weight we get the same uh, effect the only issue we have here is that uh, it's the same thing like we did at first is that this uh, the percentage or the size of this polygon is way too big so maybe we can add a subdivision here like that i think would be good and you would want to add it kind of to the height of of this so you can see it live here as as we move it and this is all the way all right so oh it's too far so it would be somewhere here i think would be good like that and same here i think yeah that's good so then uh we can add uh, the second or we can enable the second bevel and now you again have um your mesh working with those two bevels 
and on top of that we have the solidify modifier still active so you can increase the thickness and we can change the factor and maintain our bevels uh, maybe additionally we could let's give this a try uh, this might screw it up a little bit but what if we add a another bevel weight here yeah that screws it up because um, you see what happens yeah it, it doesn't it doesn't work very well so uh, I'm gonna undo that there we go and then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add an edge here and then maybe we can add another edge here as well alternatively what you could do with this is we could uh, try um, using again uh, bevel based on vertex group so we select these verts and then um, or I think you do yeah we select these verts and then let's try using speed flow for this just gonna remove this one and I'm gonna okay wires on and then we're going to go into bevel okay it's doing it correctly um, but obviously there's some issue with the sorting so there we go so maybe we set it to to this and then we can add maybe another edge and then we could try do it here as well so what we could do is select these verts and then uh, if we I think assign to active vertex group okay I'm just gonna do it this way assign these oh that screwed it up a little bit um, yeah I don't know how I screw that up ah, of course because now it's taking all of these edges so yeah that's not gonna work so I'm just gonna undo that there we go and have these create a new vertex group assign or uh, like we did in the beginning just go to bevel and choosing vertex group group 2 I'm not sure why it's now kind of messed up I oh, am yeah, right so I have to move it under solidify and then we can still have it a little bit tighter like that so the question is then how can we I mean what we could do is we could add another edge in here in between and we just have to unassign this from the vertex group so we just remove this and then what we could do is if we remove this edge and then we can add these to the group and now it works because now basically um, you know like there's there's an edge in between so it's not connecting it's not making the the vertex group this edge so it's a little bit confusing at first but if you add an edge in between it kind of solves that problem so um, now maybe we want to set it to loop slide no that doesn't that might be better yeah it's a little bit cleaner and then uh, okay cool so now we have a pretty cool mesh I think there we go and obviously all of these are still controllable you can still control the um, the factor of the solidify the overall thickness then the um, the first bevel and obviously the second bevel as well although there's not much room there to not much wiggle room but we can make it sharper there we go so I think this is a pretty cool workflow uh, you just have to kind of keep in mind the order of your bevels and uh, the key thing there with vertex groups um, is that you have to have an edge between uh, otherwise it'll take otherwise it'll basically do this you know so I think this is pretty cool